Anna Sarwar. Uh, First Minister, the women in Tayside do not want to see the Health Secretary in a documentary. They want to see a breast cancer oncologist in Tayside. And that problem has still not been fixed. Uh, and I am sorry, but the First Minister has said little today that will reassure women in Tayside and their families. We do have a failing cancer service, and that is, means staff are being let down, women are being let down, and the First Minister has no serious plan to restore services. And as per usual, Nicola Sturgeon keeps telling us that it is unacceptable, but then accept, expects patients to accept it anyway. And we have seen it again this week. Ambulances still queuing at a &E's. Elderly patients still waiting on trolleys for treatment. The longest waiting lists in history. Now over three quarters of a million Scots on an NHS waiting list. And women in Tayside being failed by the collapse of cancer services. First Minister, you are in charge of the NHS in Scotland. And you have been for 15 years. How long do Scots have to wait before you get to grips with this crisis and actually do your job? First Minister. I am in charge uh, as head of this government of the National Health Service, which is why I understand uh, that running the National Health Service, that resolving challenges and problems in the National Health Service takes more than glib sound bites in the chamber uh, of the Scottish Parliament. And has, as, they, as they have been throughout the entirety of the 15 years uh, that my party has been in government, the people of Scotland will be the ultimate and indeed the only judge uh, of whether or not uh, this government is trusted to continue uh, with its stewardship of the National Health Service. Um, all of these issues are taken seriously. It was uh, because of original concerns about potentially substandard care uh, that many of these issues uh, came to the fore. And I repeat again what I said, there is work to do here to ensure the sustainability and the ongoing quality uh, of cancer care uh, and breast cancer care in NHS Tayside. Uh, but the vast overwhelming majority of those referred into that service um, do not go for treatment to another centre. They get quality treatment uh, in NHS Tayside. And I say it again, it does a disservice to that service uh, to suggest otherwise. And in terms of the wider points, uh, again, day in and day out, this government works to address the significant challenges that our NHS is under. So if we look at the if we look at the, the statistics published just this week, significant increase in the number of inpatient and day case patients seen in the last quarter, a 7.3% increase. Uh, the referral to treatment target, uh, an increase in the number, uh, the percentage of those seen within 18 weeks, 72.5%, uh, and reductions of the longest waits in our National Health Service, a 20% reduction in outpatients and a 22% reduction uh, for inpatient and day cases. Uh, so we will continue to do the hard work of supporting our NHS uh, through these difficult times, because that's our job, that's our responsibility, a responsibility given to us by the people of Scotland.